It's another day, children of God, and welcome back to building a tiny house in Portugal. Today, I will continue fitting the OSB on the outside of the tiny house. And for your information, I am not teaching anyone how to build a tiny house. There is a lot of videos on YouTube about that. I am only documenting how I build my first ever tiny house without experience and most of the work is being done on my own. I do have my friend Carlos who pops in, in now and then just to fill me in and you know to supervise the job and I am very thankful for that in the name of the Lord. Measure 238 Cut a little engine oil to the end. Marking the final big window to cut it. I am cutting the final window. The final window is being cut, the biggest one. Praise the Lord. And so far, this is what it looks like. Big window is cut. All OSB is done for the outside. Small window cut, door cut. This is the back of it. Small window cut. All OSB is fitted on the outside of the tiny house. There it is. And I'm going to go back to the front. I just have to cut this little bit off. Last thing on the outside I need to do. And also, let me try and get away from the sun. There's this little strip. I still have to fit in a little strip of OSB just to the top of it. And this is it for now. I am screwing those two little strips to the front. I'm cutting off that excess bit which is too high from the OSB so that the metal roof could sit in a slant position.
I am fitting the new strip of OSB that I've cut to raise it same height as the front of the tiny house. At the end here, I'm going to give it a little glue because it's too thin to hold a screw. It might split it. This was my friend Carlos who came over to explain to me how are we going to install the sandwich metal roof panel? He's only working across the road for my neighbor, but he will return later to show me how to do it. I have also made a mistake. These braces are installed to hold the frame. They are in the way of the insulation. So I am going to remove them and fit the normal 2x4 instead and also they are not strong they are wobbly they are not strong they are very wobbly so i'm going to remove them and construct with this wood instead also i've decided to cut an opening to create another small window because this is the valley side there is the stream and there is some fresh breeze blowing from the stream there is also another mistake i made because the OSB is 250 long, I framed the tiny house at 250. And as you can see, there is a gap. And what I should have done is measure or frame the tiny house at 248 so that there would be an overlap with the OSB. But you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to trim it, cover it so that it's not visible for the eyes.
one, one, two. I am going to line up the roof metal sandwich panels for when my friend Carlos arrives. It's very light, it's not heavy. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this for now. Keep an eye on it until he arrives so he can show me how to square it and, and screw it in. So Carlos is here to mark and square for me the roof so that we can start screwing the metal roof in. Carlos is squaring up the roof at the moment.
Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. God bless you.